welcome to Broke Tech Fix. Today, we are going to unbox and review a rotary tool from Works. It is the WX106, a very light and compact rotary tool with a built-in 8V lithium-ion battery. It comes in a nice plastic storage case with 21 assorted accessories. The included user manual is pretty much useless as the only language available is in Chinese. Here, we can see the detailed specs of the rotary tool. This tool is surprisingly light but feels very well made. The speed can be controlled into 5 different levels. The LED light is very bright, this will definitely help if you're going to use this for precision type of work. The kit comes with following accessories, sanding drums, a grinding bit, felt polishing wheels in two different sizes and a polishing compound, cutting discs, wire brush, diamond tip and high speed steel carving bits. You'll find the charging port at the bottom. The USB-C port is hidden under a tight rubber cover. This is a very nice feature since these type of tools are commonly used for hobby and crafts wherein fine wood, metal or plastic particles can potentially block the charging port. There is nowhere on the works website, even on the manual, that clearly states the charging current of the works W106 rotary tool, so we'll instead try to figure out how much current it requires to charge the internal battery.
I am using a quick charge capable USB cable. As we can see it charges up to 1.5 amps max. Using the supplied USB charging cable, we can only see up to 900 mA charge current. Now it's charging to a max of 1.9 amps, so in this test, we can conclude that it is best to use a good quality quick charge capable USB type C cable instead of the supplied cable. As we all know, it gets quite annoying over time to use a small wrench just to tighten or loosen the collet if you need to change bits frequently. Fortunately, the Works W106 rotary tool uses a spindle with the same size and thread like those of Dremel. Here I replace the standard collet with a quick change chuck from Dremel. Okay, now let's open up the Works W106 and explore what's inside. The tool is held down by six Phillips screws. Let's first remove these two at the bottom. The body is made from PA6GF30, the same material used for power tools like drills. Works uses a pair of 900mAh Hisensere brand lithium-ion battery. I can't find any specification sheet for this exact battery type, but when I checked the company's website, I found a similar sized cell their website says their maximum discharge current is rated at 6 amps 
for cells with a capacity of 1,100 mAh. hours. Since this is a variant with a lower capacity, it would be safe to assume that the discharge current may be a tad higher. But don't quote me on this because that is usually the case for lithium cells. The lower the capacity, the higher the discharge rate. For those who are interested, this is the high-resolution photo of the tools control board. It's basically an all-in-one board wherein you have a motor speed control with an integrated charging circuit for the lithium battery. I don't see any balanced charging circuit for the battery, so there is a good chance that if one of the two cells in series suffers from low voltage, the tool will refuse to charge and operate. So basically, that is all there is to it. Overall, this rotary tool appears to be very well built for its price. The good thing is that, although it's cheap, the user can easily open the device and still repair the unit in any case the battery or the motor suffers from premature failure. I bought this Works Rotary tool using my own money. Works did not pay me to do this review, so I can definitely and confidently recommend this to anyone who wants to have a less powerful rotary tool that is perfect for making kits, jewellery, hobby crafts, PCB drilling and electronics repair. I hope you liked this video, please stay tuned as next time I will be comparing this against a bigger rotary tool that is designed for professional trade use. Thank you for watching.